uh, sometimes even the people that love you the most hurt you. Sometimes uh, it's safe to say with all of us that uh, somewhere, someone over the course of your life has hurt you. Um, you found yourself, it's, for some, you found yourself in a whole season you never wanted to be in. And if you found yourself in a season you've never wanted to be in, or you found yourself being the one that somebody, in some cases, it's even the people that really love you, have, have hurt you and done you wrong, I want to encourage you today that there is hope for you in Jesus. Hope is for all of us. Hope is for every one of us today, and God has some hope for you today. If you've had someone do you wrong, there is hope for you. I've sat in funeral homes, and I've, I've watched moms and dads cry uh, over a, a teenage daughter who was killed by a drunk driver. And, and I've watched them cry why and, and, and somehow want to answer for why, why did this tragedy happen? Uh, because somebody drank too much that took her life. Somebody died. And the reality is for, for some of you today, um, it's not that, but it's, it's somebody who said too much somebody who demanded too much, somebody who neglected too much that caused part of you to die. And I want to encourage you that you don't have to stay that way. Like there really is hope for you. I've watched people that have been hurt years ago and they desperately needed hope, but they held on to the hurt more than the hope. And it resulted in them being an old person who was bitter in pain and still in pain to this day. And I'm just telling you, it doesn't have to be that way. You, you can experience so much healing and so much hope that not only are you healed and not only do you personally experience hope that God has for you, but you can become a hope giver. You can become what Paul said, where you are so full of hope and so full of joy and peace that you overflow with hope and you become a, a hope giver to other people. 